Welcome to this presentation on a Power BI report focusing on sales budgeting for a large organization. What we were tasked with doing here is taking a large amount of historic financial data from an organization, but then also the financial year budgets for the next financial year, in this case 2017. The focus of the analysis was identifying where the revenue has come from in terms of the reporting category and also through sales reps, but also where the sales growth is going to come from. Um, and what we are able to do within Power BI is enable dynamic filtering to identify uh, which reporting categories or sales reps are going to create that future growth uh, for an organization. The report's broken up into five parts. We have the summary page here. We also have more of a focus on rep the reporting segments, uh, then sales reps, and then a spatial analysis of client accounts where the clients are based and what performance metrics they produce. And then lastly, we dive into the top 20% of clients as that generally is going to be where the bulk of revenue uh, occurs within an organization. So here on the first page we have the summary of all the key metrics that we were tasked with looking at and over here we have analysis of how we've performed through time and then we get to financial year 17 and this is the new budget. Here we have a breakdown of the total revenue per budgeted revenue sorry per reporting category and then we have here some analysis on where the growth is going to come from so what we can do is we can actually filter by reporting category say we want to look at just this category and then everything within the data model will update uh, as per the filters that we're selecting so what we can also do is multi-select and that enables us to see uh, more sales reps, potentially all these sales reps sit within the same office location and uh, this enables us to then identify through whatever dynamic way we choose uh, where our budget is currently and then where we believe the growth is going to be. Say we wanted to just dive into one particular client or one particular set of clients, we can easily do that by clicking through on the filters and then opening up this and seeing uh, where what the change is for revenue from this year to next, next financial year, uh, what the percentage change is and then the budget. And what we've done here is we've sorted it by the biggest change so you can quickly identify, okay, these are my key clients. Uh, this is where the bulk of my, my growth is going to be for this particular reporting category. Next, we're focused on just the reporting segment, um, just the reporting category. You can easily break down or drill down into the key reporting categories here. This enables us to see a growth over time for each reporting category. And as you can see, it's all quite positive, which um, makes for a, a happy company and happy shareholders. We have some analysis here through for which channel um, the sales growth is going to come from. This is sales growth per sales rep. So Jerry Green is obviously our most important sales rep um, going on down due to the fact that the bulk of next year's revenue growth is going to actually occur um, in these top three sales reps. Here we're trying to see a correlation between the total budget and the growth for next year and as you can see here we have a reasonably positive correlation which is what you want to see you want to see your um, highest accounts achieving the most dollar value growth um, these would be your concern accounts and would need to be um, looked into further what we can do here is we can drill into a specific reporting category and all the charts update um, for us for whatever selection we make. 
and same as the report slide before we can actually see how the growth has performed over time so we've broken it down by two, the change from 2014 to 15, 15 to 16, 16 to 17 and this is where you're going to identify your key clients again okay so next we come over to the sales reps and once again this is just a very uh, easy and dynamic way to find out where is your growth going to come from that's that's the key thing with your budgets um, that's the key thing with any sales organization you want to stay on top of um, your growth where where those um, where that growth is coming from um, and on the back of say this reporting on your budgeting um, you also would want to be able to keep track throughout the year of how you're tracking versus your budget so that's you know, a natural extension of this but just in terms of the sales rep, you can click through um, and quickly identify, okay, where is my growth going to come from? These, this is the change on ch change on year on year growth, um, in, sorry, in dollar value. Um, but it's great to be able to just quickly navigate through to whatever particular sales rep or reporting category you want to look at and you can quickly drill into okay where is my growth going to come from from there the great one of the great things about power bi is just the ability to expand the analysis so you have it in a short form here but say you wanted to multi select a number of sales reps there you can easily expand this to get the data in a more the easier to look at format. On top of that, you can also export the data, which is very cool. Here we have analyzed clients in detail in terms of the, their location. And we've got our key metrics on the side here. So if we really want to quickly drill down into where our clients are distributed per sales rep or reporting category, it enables us to identify many trends or many things in our data so we may want to move clients to a different sales rep if we believe that their accounts are too distributed throughout a certain geographical area in this case we're uh, looking at data which is focused on New Zealand also we can try and identify a small cust cluster of customers so <clears throat> for example we just want to look at Anthony Berry and a couple of categories and as you can see here you've got his big, biggest budget is down at the top of the South Island um, but it is also qu quite distributed so there's a potential there to reorganize the client set to more optimize the time to travel or uh, optimize the potential growth for a, a grouping of clients so being able to do it like this is, is, is really quite cool. And all the key metrics that uh, update, update in, re, in real time when you're clicking through the filters. So say for instance we want to get a random selection of clients, we can also come through here and dynamically click a number of clients, which is very, very easy. Lastly, what we've done here is we've focused on the top 20% of clients. Now, ordinarily within an organization, this is going to be the bulk, where the bulk of your sales revenue, your sales growth is going to come from. They're going to come from your top clients. So this is where you can really focus in on these clients and, and then also make decisions on the back of that of where you should allocate resources for these clients. So again, uh, all the charts are dynamically connected and enables for very easy drilling to whichever subset of accounts you want to go to. So if we in this case want to look at say our retail accounts, uh, where out of the top 20%, entire 20% within the organization, this is the amount of accounts which uh, appear through the retail channel. And we have the, the customer rank, the total sales for that customer and then also the growth year on year. So as you can see this is a this is quite an important part of the important piece of the analysis for budgeting because you really want to 
drill into your key clients. Who's looking after your key clients? Where are they based? And how are you going to extract the greatest revenue from those clients? Thank you.